Hey, Rage Mr. Maximus, and I'm back once again. And today we're checking out the power of the primes punch and counter punch. Get ready, another Amazon exclusive. <laughs> Regulus, Maximus, Greens. All right, I am back. All right, so here we have the Power of the Primes, Prime War Trilogy, Punch and Counter Punch. Let's take a look at the box. As you can see, you got Counter Punch in the back and Punch in the front. There's the back of the box and the side of the box. Now, one thing about the side of the box, uh, these boxes were meant to come together. So before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and put these boxes together. All right, here they all are put together. Let me just squeeze them together a little bit better. There you go. This is what the completed image looks like. Like I said, here you got blast off, you got repugnus, and you got punch and counter punch. So these all three were the Amazon exclusives. So and they came together to make this great piece of artwork. And I really like it. What do you guys think? You like the artwork? I like it. I hope you like it. Let's move on. Alright, so let's take another look at the box. This time we're going to open it up. So, choose your prime, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if you look right here, I mean, it's got some pretty nice artwork too. Um, it's got um, Optimal Optimus. You got Grimlock. And you got a uh, Moon Racer. You got the Dinobots. And you got a few of the other Transformers trying to get the Matrix. But it all boils down to Optimal Optimus getting the Matrix and becoming the new leader. So there you go. I like to see this artwork as a poster though. Moving on. You have Prima. You get the Prima figure right there. The Prima um, Prime Master. And there's the actual figure. Punch and counter punch. So uh, let's go ahead and get him out the box. Alright, so we have Punch and Counterpunch. He's in his Autobot mode, so now he's Punch. Punch is a double agent. And he converts himself into Counterpunch to infiltrate the Decepticon ranks. You know, when they first came out, um, it was um, back in Transformers, the last three episodes, with well, the, the first episode um, of Rebirth. So, it was like, um, Rebirth was their last three episodes of the American series. Of G1. So he was like, um, probably like in the first 10 minutes of that. But, um, that's about it. But, um, I liked it. I mean, I think they call him Double Spy. So, either or, I thought it was cool. I still like the concept. I still like to see him do more with that. But, hey, uh, we shall see. Let's take a look at, um, what he looks like in this mode from behind. Stand him up a little bit more. So there we go. There he is standing up. There he is to the side. And there he is. Like that. Now, real quick, let me take a look at the articulation. Um, his head can move. Uh, with his own little ball joint. Um, 
his arms. They can move. They can only go so far in this mode right here because it kind of this top part kind of stops him. So, but uh, the arms can go side to side like that. All right. Gun does come out and his hands in a fixed position as you can see. Um, like I said, uh, his wrist, his wrist, his waist can't turn. Knees, legs go out to the side. They're also on a ball joint. You can see. Legs been pretty good. And he has no feet. So no feet. So no feet articulation. You don't have to worry about that. This helmet does move up. Because you need that whenever you change him into counterpunch. So let's uh Change him into counter punch. All right. So to transform him into counter punch, what you want to do is take his hands. And they just rotate. So the other one just rotates on out, just like that. So all you gotta do: um, take his helmet, push it down. Um, take his autobot symbol, because he is a spy. You gotta hide that. Um, you're going to bend his arms back and you're going to turn him around and you want to take these these are just going to come out like this just out to the side and it's uh, fairly simple and now you have counter punch you should take this and flip this part up let everybody know he is a Decepticon. Alright. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation with the um, counterpunch. Uh, start with the legs. Legs can be in. It seems a little bit stiff in this. Going this way. Um, he has no feet. So... No feet at all. This one seems a little bit better as far as bending. Um, so it's on a ball joint, so. Oh yeah, you're supposed to um, lift this up. Whenever you, you'll take this and you'll flip this up. Um, his arms. Like I said, I mean, you only got like, so much range right up here because it's knocking in his helmet right here too. So, his arms go out. They bend. Still fixed hand position. Um, helmet still moves. Um, his head is on a ball joint. So. Wheels roll. I mean, all in all, it's a good looking figure. I mean, they done an amazing job on it. I like it. Um, I remember having the G1 version. And, I mean, they've done a great job on this. A really good job. Alright, I'm going to take a quick second to look at his Prime Master. So, there you go. I mean, you can't really see it that good. This is Prima Prime. She is the Warrior of Light. She is just like the rest of the Prime Masters. So. And there is Prime.
Prime or Prime? I mean, articulation is pretty much the same on all these. Pretty much about like the Headmasters, so. Or the Titan Masters, whatever they call them. So, pretty basic. But yeah. There is Prime or Prime. As always, all these Prime Masters can fit inside the Prime Armor. All you gotta do is just make them fit. Just like that, and there you go. That simple. Now, when I actually ordered this thing, I mean, it's supposed to arrive, I think, uh, maybe, uh, or shipped out by, what, September 18th or something like that. Um, mine was late. I guess they sent so many, and then they ran out. I guess by the time it got to my name, they ran out, and I didn't get mine till a, a week or so later, so it sucked, because I was wanting to put it out there real quick, but people were already getting there, so either or it happens, but I did get mine, so I will say that, but let's move on, and let's go ahead and transform him into his car mode, so we're going to take Counterpunch. What we're going to do is, we're going to take his parts right here. We're going to kind of turn these around like that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do. We're going to open up this part right here, and this is going to come out like so. We're going to turn this around and make sure that this part right here is already lifted up. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and peg these in. Like so. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to peg the side of his hands into these right here. All right, so what you want to do is turn him around, open up his legs right here. These will fold out like so. And we just fold these down and tab these in. You're gonna bring this in and you're just gonna tab it in. And you wanna take each tab right here and put them over in this little slot over here. And then I'll just tab all together like so. And there you go. Now his car mode does put me in a mind of lockdown from the Transformer movies. I mean, but I think it's a real good looking character. As far as uh I think that it's a real good looking car. So it kinda of scoops a little bit and everything. He's catching on something under there. Still a good looking pizza. Even if it's not rolling that good, could you be my table? I don't know. But, uh, look at the top of him. The side. The bottom. So, all in all, not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a real good looking car. Now his prime armor does go on top of him. Just pegs in right there on top. And also you can put his gun right here on the bottom. Just pegs in. And peg it. Just pegs in right there. 
All you gotta do is just pick it in like that. Boom, there you go. Okay. I've been threatening you with a good time, and here it goes. We've been saying we're gonna give away this Metals Diecast Bumblebee, and today is the day. And our winner is Sardo Noon Spa 82. So, Sardo Noon Spa 82, get in contact with me. Well, I'll get your information and we'll send this out to you. Thank you for your comments. I really do appreciate it. Restart. Now, next up, I'll be giving away this Metals Diecast Crosshairs. If you want to win it, all you got to do is comment. Comment. Like, subscribe. Hey, well, like I said, we're trying to get our name out there. Bumblebee, hey, we have found his winner. Now, for some reason, he decides not to contact. I mean, contact me. Um, I want to try to steal and throw it out there to somebody. Um, so, for some reason, he don't contact me within a month. I'll go on to the next person. So, but, um, but Sardo... Noom Spa 82, please contact me so you can get your prize. And so, if not, I'll choose another winner, I guess. Um, either or, I'm trying to get some things away. Um, all you gotta do is like and comment. This is Rachel Spanksmith once again, taking a look at Double Spy, Punch and Counterpunch, Amazon exclusive, and I am out.